Here we'll consider the importance of ensuring that your data is properly scaled before you send it to the simple write wave uh, writing sub VI. I have a tone generator and a noise generator and I'm adding those two audio signals together. Anytime you add the signals you run into the possibility of having um, samples that have values greater than one. So let's find out what happens here. I'm specifying a half second duration tone at 800 Hertz and using 20 kilohertz for my sampling frequency. I'm going to send the result of the combined audio signals to a file called sound.wave. Everything works fine. In fact, you can hear it coming out of the Express Play Waveform VI just fine. The problem can that you can run into is with other applications. So I'm using Audacity here. This is a open source system and here's the URL for that. It's a nice way of editing audio files and doing various other transformations. So you'll notice that uh, it crashes Audacity. So I'll go ahead and close that and investigate this in a little more detail. So since we're adding these two signals together, the possibility always exists that you generate samples that are greater than the plus minus one range. So I'm going to actually look at the maximum value that we find in our final signal. We can see that here. Let's go ahead and run it. So maximum value in fact does in exceed one. Now to deal with this in a very simple way, if we look under Signal Processing Palette, find Signal Operation, and then Quick Scale, what I am going to do is uh, basically connect my input to X, take my output as uh, the same signal divided by the maximum signal. So that always normalizes it to the range of ensuring that we don't have anything exceeding one. So I need to move that in here. Let me move this over a little bit. I'm doing a shift r left arrow, excuse me, to nudge that out of the way. So here's my primary output. And I'll also connect that up to my indicator for maximum value. And just to confirm that we have been able to reduce that value to one. And sure enough, we see the maximum value is one. So let's go back to Audacity. I've restarted it and I'll open that wave file that we've just created. And there we see everything looking fine. Playing it works great. So again, this, uh, the quick scale is a very handy technique. 